Sunday for me. I don't know what day it is that you're watching this or what day I'm even gonna get this uploaded, but it is a Monday morning and I have to start work in a little bit. This is where I work, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just kind of, I just wanna show you a, a day in the life of a social media content manager um, for a marketing agency and just kind of like my day here, working from home and doing what I do. <laughs> Today I threw on a little bit of mascara because I'm filming for you guys. I've been liking to just get ready recently. It makes me feel better, makes me feel happier. I threw on this new outfit that Z Supply sent me and um, I just have my little Ugg boots on <laughs> with it and it's super cute. It's a little matching set with shorts and this fun little crop sweatshirt and it has like these cute, this cute like leaf, leaf, leaf print. Um, but yeah, you should definitely check out Z Supply. They make really comfy like loungewear. And so if you're working from home, if you're doing online school, if you just like lounging, um, there's definitely something for you there. I'm going to make some coffee and get this day started. <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned, but what my job is, is I am a content manager for a small boutique marketing agency in San Diego. What my job consists of is I have several clients that I manage like throughout our agency and it's just kind of like my job to make sure that their um, marketing efforts are led by me and my team. So um, I like to use my iPad for like little notes and on Friday, I or last Friday, I kind of made a list of things that I need to knock out today. What I need to do today is I need to make some Facebook ads. I need to finish writing some captions for some posts. I um, need to edit an Instagram post that's going to go out this week. And um, I need to make an email for some email marketing. And then I also need to make some edits to some Facebook ads that are currently running. So I don't know if that means like anything to <laughs> you watching this or if you do know what I'm saying or if you're just interested in like what I do. Um, so I'm just going to plan out my day here. Um, the way I plan is not fancy at all. I literally work off of a handwritten list at, and I do this <laughs> in the beginning of the day. Um, and that's, that's it. And so something else we do at my work is we label like our top three things that we want to get done in the day and then we just put them in our public like chat or, or work chat and just kind of like a goal to set those three things so I start my day trying to figure out what those three things are and um, yeah and then I usually go through like all my emails like this morning I had 16 emails which is very very light like for returning the weekend and those emails usually have like an action item in them so I just kind of Want to make sure my brain is wrapped around all that information coming in and i plug it in to my list but yeah i will talk to you guys in a little this is also a big part of my work day <laughs> this is cheddar if you don't if you've never met him this is cheddar he's very clingy in the mornings breakfast time I just made some yummy oatmeal <laughs> honestly this doesn't even really sound good you know when you just like eat the same thing all the time that's like oatmeal for me but it's just such an easy breakfast that I make this and then I also have my daily vitamin my realistic day in life is that I sit at my desk all day and yeah I just kind of eat breakfast well while I do work It's one o'clock right now. Ideally, I thought I was gonna be done working, but I'm not. <laughs> um, I have a little bit more to do. Wanted to show you all my little snack plate. I just love a good snack plate <laughs> in the middle of the workday. 
And so this is what I have going on right now. I have some little carrots, baby carrots, and I have some mini bell peppers, and then I have some tortilla chips, and then I have a tomato and basil hummus dip for a little midday snack. What I'd like to do is talk about some of the things that I've crossed off my list today. So far, I have gotten new Facebook ads for um, a client made and turned on, and um, I also got some ads turned on for a different client. So I've gotten two, two ads made and turned on for two different clients, which is good. And then for another client, I had I made an ad and sent it to the client, and um, I made some edits to their Instagram posts that were planned to go out later this week. There's just some changes in a sale that's happening later this week, so I had to like change the details of the sale. And then um, I made sure to link a new product that just launched um, today for a client and I sent some photos to that client, some photos that my team took um, last week to them. And yeah, so now I have to just finish. For today, ideally I would like to finish writing some captions for some Instagram videos that are gonna go out for a client this week. And then I need to do some boosted Facebook posts for that client as well. And then I also need to do some ad tweaks to see for a different client to see if we can get their ads moving a little bit. And that is, oh, and then one more thing I need to add to my list is I also do a lot of influencer marketing for my agency. So I do some influencer marketing for a really cool um, athletic wear brand that works with our agency. And so I need to go through some emails to see if any influencers have responded to the emails that I sent out to them last week. And so yeah, that's kind of the main things I want to do today. Oh, I also made another cup of coffee about two hours ago. And I really, I like drink most of it. So just a sleepy Monday. Um, but yeah, almost done. Let's do this. <laughs> I just clocked out guys but yeah now I'm gonna go to Target and um, I just have to get a couple things my roommate and I have a guilty pleasure of unhealthy coffee creamers and it's like the one thing I feel like we really allow ourselves and so I got this one. Um, okay, I'm about to make dinner. Hey y'all, this is my favorite snack. It's tortilla chip with sour cream and turkey. Let me show you. Okay, I guess all the good pans have been used tonight. I'm gonna be making this a Trader Joe's vegetable and soba noodle stir fry kit. Hey, is this the one that I wanted? I guess this is the one I decided on. I thought I got one with brown rice. And then I'm gonna make some salmon with it as well. So, nice healthy little dinner. Hi guys, so it's a little bit later. It's 8.30 and um, um, I'm in bed. I'm not going to bed quite yet, but typically before bed I like to read a little bit and so right now I'm reading two books. I just thought I would share them um, I'm reading the vanishing half. This book is really good. Another book that I'm reading is called atomic habits and then it's about like building good habits and how to break bad ones because it's really hard to number one build new habits good habits and it's hard to like break old habits I'm sure as we're all familiar with and so something it talked about in a previous chapter that I read was um putting putting your habits like into places in your life so it's not just like oh like I want to do more creative things like I should try and be more creative it's like putting a place and the time to where you can make a routine of like being creative so an example that I've been implementing is um, I like to do something for I like to do something creative for an hour after work um, and some days it's easier to stick to it than others like today I had to go run some errands so 
I wasn't exactly able to exa do my creative thing right after work, but something creative that I did today was my roommate and I um, decided that we are going to redecorate our bathroom. And so we were looking up some fun things to buy um, for our bathroom and I feel like that was kind of like a creative thing for me to do. And so yeah, I just thought I would share that with you. So if you're trying to build some good habits, I suggest you attach a time and a place to them so that you can actually build the habit and give yourself an opportunity to um, implement that in your day-to-day -day life. So sorry if that was ranty, but I just thought it was helpful and something to share. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked it because I can easily make more videos like this because it's what I do every day. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.